Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about the integrals of exponential functions, part 3. So if you haven't watched my video about the part 1 and part 2, please make sure to watch it uh, before watching this. Or you can also watch this because this, this will be dealing also with the exponential. But it's a part 3 of our uh, series about the exponential functions, getting the integral of the exponential functions. So we have here the formula. Okay, the integral of a, where a is any number, okay, raised to an exponent u, du, if we get the integral of that, it should equal to a raised to u all over ln of a plus c. Okay, so the, the thing is, uh, we're going to transform the variables into terms of u in order for us to use this formula. Okay, so... Let's try number one. We have five examples here. So we have the integral of 4 raised to 3x dx. We have five examples. So what are we going to do is we're going to transpose this integral into something like this. Okay? So we're going to transform the variable x into u. So we are going to let u equals 3x and if we get the derivative of u with respect to x, because we need to get the dx, so we have 3 dx. And for me to really substitute okay, all of this in terms of u, I have to get dx. So we have du all over 3 equals dx. So the resulting integral now, when this is substituted, so we have 4 raised to u, which is actually the 3x here, the 3x here. And then we have... Okay, the x would now be equal to du all over 3. Okay, so we know that we can rewrite the integral as 4 raised to u, then we have 1 third, and we have du. And we all know that one property of the integral is that we can factor out, outside of the integral sign, the constant that is present inside. So we have 1 third. Okay, integral of 4 raised to u, and then we have du. So applying this formula that we have, so our a here in this case is 4. So we have 1 third, okay, and then 4 raised to u all over the ln of 4 plus c. So in other words, we have 1 third, okay, of 4, but u, okay, we have to back substitute the variable u because that is not the original variable so we have 3x so we have one third 4 raised to 3x all over we have ln of 4 plus c or in other words okay we have 4 raised to 3x all over 3 ln of 4 plus c okay but we can further simplify this denominator by properties of ln so we can have 4 raised to 3x so properties of ln is that this 3 can become can can will be what the exponent of whatever is inside the ln so we have ln of 4 cube okay so that's one property of ln whatever is the value of here we can put it inside the ln Okay, as its exponent, whatever the value of the constant there. Okay, so in this case, we have put 3 here. So we have 4 raised to 3x. Sorry, we still have plus c. Okay, so don't forget the plus c since we are uh, integrating indefinite integral. So we have 4 raised to 3x all over ln of 64 since 4 cubed is 64 plus See, and this should be the answer for this problem number one. It's pretty easy, right? So the, the very first thing that we're going to do is to transform the x variable into u variable. So for number two, we have the integral of 2 raised to 4x dx. Same process. So we're going to let 4x as our u. So if we are going to let 4x as our u, okay, so let 4x equals to u. So our du would be 4dx with respect to x. And we need to get the value of dx. So we have du all over 4. So we have dx here. 
So, substituting to our integral, we have integral of 2 raised to u multiplied by du all over 4. We can factor out the constant outside of the integral sign so that we have 2 raised to u and then we have du here. So, applying our fundamental formula, we have 1 fourth, okay, and then we have 2 raised to u all over ln of 2 plus c. So, in case, that would be 2 raised to u all over 4 ln of 2 plus c. Okay? So, what are we going to do is, we can have 2 raised to u all over ln of 2 raised to 4. Okay? And then, back substitute the variable u. u equals 4x, so we have... 2 raised to 4x all over ln of 16 plus c. And this should be our final answer for this one. Okay? So let's try number 3. Integral of 5 raised to 3 minus 2x dx. Same process that we are going to do is that we are going to let u as 3 minus 2x, differentiate u with respect to x, that's negative 2dx. And I'm going to get dx, so we have du all over negative 2 equals dx. Now it's time to substitute. So we have 5 raised to u, then we have dx is du all over negative 2. So I can factor out negative 1 half outside of the integral sign so that we have 5 raised to u and then we have du here. So, what are we going to do is we have negative 1 half. Then we have 5 raised to u all over ln of 5 plus c. Okay. So, we have negative 5 raised to u all over 2 ln of 5 plus c. But we need to back substitute the value or the original value of u. So, we have negative 5 raised to 3 minus 2x all over. I can use the properties of ln so that this becomes ln raised to 5 raised to 2. So, we have plus c, of course. So, we have negative 5 raised to 3 minus 2x all over. We have ln of 25 plus c. Okay? So, this would be our final answer for this problem. It's pretty easy, right? So, you have, we, 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 we need to transform that given exponential okay, into terms of u and then get the derivative and perform the u substitution and then simplify. So, for second to the last problem, we have the integral of the cube root of 4 raised to 2x dx. So whenever we see integral or radical, I mean, is that we're going to compute or we're going to transform this ra uh, radical into exponential. So we know that this is equal to 4 raised to 2x raised to 1 third dx. Okay? So if we perform this, we know that we should what multiply this exponent into this exponent since it is raised to 1 third. So we have... 4, okay, 2x all over 3. Raised to 2x all over 3 or 2 thirds of x. So we can also rewrite this, that as 4 raised to 2 thirds of x dx. Okay? And, of course, we have to let u equals two-thirds of x. Then we have du, we have two-thirds dx. So we need to get, in terms of dx, for us to substitute it here. So we have three-halves du equals dx. So now, this integral becomes what? Integral of four raised to u multiplied by the dx, which is three-halves du. So we have three-halves du. So, factoring out the constant, so we have 3 halves integral of 4 raised to u, 
then du, and then apply the formula. So we have 3 halves, 4 raised to u all over ln of 4 plus c. Okay? So we need to back substitute the value. Okay? So that now we have what? 3 halves, okay? 4 raised to u, which is 2 thirds of x. Okay? Let me just rewrite. So we have 2 thirds of x all over ln of 4 plus c. So it is better to write this answer as it is. Okay? Why? Because the numerator is not 1. So 3 cannot be multiplied directly by 4. So you can also use the properties of ln that we are trying to do a while ago. But uh, this would become ln 16. But we have 3 here. So our answer would become 3, 4 raised to 2 thirds of x all over ln of 16 plus c. So you see, it's much more neat. Okay, this is also correct. It's much more neat actually to uh, write this in this form because uh, the 3 here has a denominator. Okay? So we cannot multiply this two. This could not be 12 raised to 2 thirds of x because they don't have the same exponent. Okay? So here, we have the answer here. So for number 5, let's go now for our last question. So we have... 3 raised to x, and then multiplied by 2 raised to x, tx. Okay? So they don't have the same base, so we cannot multiply them. They, this is 3 and this is 2. We cannot multiply them simply. Okay? Because they don't have the same base. So what are we going to do is, instead is to let u equals 3 raised to x, 2 raised to x. And then we're going to get the derivative of u using the product rule okay product rule so if we wish to recall the derivative of this natural logarithm would be still uh we're going to get uh 3 raised to x and then ln of whatever is inside the base whatever is the base ln of 3 so if we wish to get the derivative of course of let's say 9 raised to x so that would be what? Uh, ln of 9, then copy the 9 raised to x. So that becomes 9 raised to x ln of 9. So what are we going to do here is the same. Then product rule, because this is in terms of product. So I have to copy first the 3 raised to x, and then I'm going to differentiate 2 raised to x, and then I'm going to add it with copy the other term. So we have 2 raised to x and differentiate what? 3 raised to x. So that's the product rule. So this would become dx. So we have, what? 3 raised to x, then differentiate this. So this would become what? Uh, this would become ln of 2, 2 raised to x. Then we have plus 2 raised to x. This will become, derivative of 3 raised to x would become ln of 3. Okay? ln of 3, and then 3 raised to x. So, this is all multiplied by dx since we differentiate with respect to x. So, if we're going to rewrite this, so we have ln of 2, okay? Then we have uh, 3 raised to x, 2 raised to x, plus we have ln of 3, 3 raised to x, then 2 raised to x, then we have dx, Okay? So, I'm getting dx only, okay? So, what I'm going to do is that dx would simply equal to du all over uh, ln of 2, 3 raised to x, 2 raised to x plus ln of 3, uh, 3 raised to x, 2 raised to x, okay? So, we're going to substitute now to our integral. So, as you can see here, class... Okay, this 3 raised to x and 2 raised to x here and this one here are both u. Okay, this is u. Okay, 
So we are going to simplify that as, write that as simply the u. So we have the integral of what now? We have now the integral of, wait, integral of 3 raised to x, uh, 2 raised to x, that's u. How about the dx? dx equals this one. Okay, this one. So we have du all over, okay, we have ln of 2. And as I've said a while ago, that this 3 raised to x, 2x equals u. So we have u plus, we have ln of 3, ln of 3, and then this is another u. So we have u here. So again, if I'm going to simplify this, I can factor out u. So we have u, ln of 2 plus ln of 3. Okay? And as you can see, this u would cancel. So we have the integral of du all over ln of 2 plus ln of 3. And ln of 2, ln of 3 is constant, so therefore we can factor that out outside of the integral sign. Hence, okay, we leave integral of du in the integral. So we have what? The integral of du is simply u all over ln of 2 plus ln of 3 plus c. But again, we have to back sub u equals 3 raised to x multiplied by 2 raised to x. So we have 3 raised to x multiplied by 2 raised to x all over ln of 2 plus ln of 3 plus c. And that's how we get the integral for this last problem. Okay. I hope you learned something from this video. This is a part 3 of our integrals of exponential functions. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you.